Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. I hope all of you are doing splendidly. Lately, there's been a lot of uh, speculation surrounding uh, Harry Kane and where he might move to, given that he only has a year left on his contract with Tottenham Hotspurs. The old rumor mill is buzzing with several rumors uh, about Harry Kane. He's been linked to Chelsea, Bayern Munich, uh, Man United, and more recently, Real Madrid ever since news of uh, Karim Benzema came out. So here's a couple of things about where Harry Kane might move to. Possibility number one, moving to Chelsea. No way. Personally, I don't see that happening. Chelsea is a, a local rival for Tottenham. I, I understand there's a lot of um, unfriendliness, let's just say, between Chelsea and Tottenham fans. And uh, Harry Kane, is a bona fide legend for the Tottenham Football Club and I don't think he will want to jeopardize that by moving to another London club. I think it'll be very out of character for him. Next up, Bayern Munich. Again, I don't see it happening. I think Harry Kane has been able to go on for so long without winning anything significant because of his Premier League record. It's very evident that he aims to break Scherer's all-time goal-scoring record for the Premier League and he's very close to doing that. I think he needs a couple more seasons. So I think that means a whole lot to him, which is why I don't see him leaving England anytime soon or at all. Real Madrid. Now that's an interesting one, but I remember a couple of years ago, more than a decade ago, when Rooney was linked with Real Madrid. I just could not see Wayne Rooney living in Spain. And I get the same feeling about Harry Kane. There is obviously the record goal scorer factor for the Premier League as well, but you, you gotta understand moving to a whole new place. It's, it's a very, very, very difficult task. Us fans, we think that, oh, they're being offered the money and, and that's it. There is slightly more to it than that. Think about it. He asks Bale about his time in Spain. Of course, different players, different records, and, and I understand all that, but do you think Bale's going to wax lyrical? Not so much, despite having won so much. And of course, what if he talks to Michael Owen? Michael Owen had the world at his feet when he moved to Real Madrid, and look what happened to him. I think Real might go all the way. I mean, they will chase him till the very last minute, but I don't think it's a possibility that I should pay or we should pay much heed to. Last but not least, Manchester United. Can you imagine Harry Kane leading the attack with Rashford on one side and Garnacho on the other? I mean, that, that would be some attack. I believe Manchester United is the perfect destination for Harry Kane. And I'm not just speaking as a Manchester United fan. Although the fan in me wants to sign Harry Kane so bad, I think he is the missing piece. Rashford has done very well this season, but... I think with Harry in the team, we could have been a lot closer in terms of the title chase, but I digress. Eric Ten Hag is clearly building a team, not a bunch of individuals. He's instilling a philosophy of how he wants the football to be played, which is very easy on the eyes and which is also enjoyable for the footballers to partake in. So Harry Kane will not only enjoy his football, but score a lot of goals, break the all-time Premier League goal-scoring records, and win a couple of trophies in the process as well. So what's there to think about, Mr. Kane? But if I take a step back and ponder over it a little bit more, I fear that the one hindrance or obstacle that we'll face is Daniel Levy. He's infamous for his negotiation. He nickels and dimes and drags it until the very last moment. And I suspect that Mr. Ten Hag wants the deals done quick so that he can work on the preseason with all his new acquisitions, which I don't think Daniel Levy will allow. That's the only thing I can see ruining this perfect combination, this perfect amalgamation. So yeah. Lastly, um, will he stay at Tottenham? Who knows? I mean, Harry Kane's uh, uh, profile, personality, character does come across as a very loyal one. I know people will say, that he tried to engineer a move to Man City a couple of years ago. And I don't really blame him for that. A very successful team winning all things will attract world-class players, of course. And that tells me that he wanted to remain in England then. 
And now Man City has Holland, so of course they will not be looking. But the club right next to them, the much bigger one, they are looking for a striker. So, Harry, do the right thing. Come join us. Let's win you some trophies. That is all. Stay safe, everyone. Mm -hmm.